All right, guys, welcome back to the road to SSL in 3v3. Today is episode number 11, and for today, we're going to be Lethabir. I thought it was super appropriate. If you didn't see Sunless Khan's last video, you'll know why I'm making this name for today. I'm not going to say I regret it, but it was definitely an interesting experience. Don't ask me why I did that. Anyway, it's time to make this photo. Let's see how it turns out. All right, so I searched up a guy holding lots of beer, and immediately one stands out to me. This empty canvas with a beautiful man standing next to it. I think we could replace my head with uh, his head here, or his head with my head. And uh, I've got an idea for what I want to do with this canvas. So let's drop this into Photoshop and move on from there. That looks about good. I've already got my head prepared. <laughs> there it is. So I'll drop that into place. Oh my goodness. Okay, good start. I'll, mi I'll mix it around a little bit, but I need to grab the... the... Actually, let me finish the face first and I'll, I'll surprise you with the finish here. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let me just quickly uh, change the colors of this. <laughs> it's not great, but it's not bad. Let me just get this whole thing and kind of make it a little bigger. Not trying to make it perfect, obviously. But now let's jump into uh, what I want to do with this canvas. Honestly, I have no idea why I made this the way I did, but it actually turned out okay, and we'll move on into the episode. All right, and there we have it, Lethabir. Honestly, you know, it's a pretty stupid photo, but I, I kind of like it, actually. It's pretty funny. I, I definitely went a little bit too ham in the Sunless Con video. I think it was like 14 shots. Make sure to drink responsibly, by the way. Uh, if you if he didn't mention that, I think I watched the whole thing. He didn't he didn't say that, but obviously you know you know if you should be doing what you're doing. Uh, I definitely went a little too far though. Let's jump into the next episode here. We got 1557 at Grand Champion One Division Four. So like I said in the last episode, we probably will reach Grand Champion Two in the next game as long as we win. We're still on a, quite a win streak. We haven't lost in the series yet, and I think if we lose one, it'll be a bit of a slower climb here. But so far we've been doing well, and honestly, with even with the overtimes, we we clutched it out. Honestly, sometimes our teammates clutched it out. And overall, we've got some pretty good, uh, reliable teammates so far. In this episode, I'm going to be talking a lot about adaptability and just trying to move around your teammates at a higher level and basically just look around uh, the field and make sure to keep an eye on all five other players in the field at the same time. If you are enjoying the daily episodes and the playlist for the Road to SSL series, uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out a ton. We're currently on the road to 2 million subscribers, quite a ways away, obviously, since we just reached 1 million, which thank you again for that. Super, super supportive. I love you guys. And let's jump into the next game, see how it goes. Now I'm really worried that because of our name being so close to my real name, I'm going to be recognized in every single one of these games. We'll have to see just what happens. Um, but I'm going to try and just, you know, be like I said, be a reliable teammate, rotate behind my teammates, and uh, hold on to that good third man position. So I can catch this ball and stay with it. I want to pop this over the one. Try to bump the one guy. Good enough for my teammate to push up there. His name is a partially perturbed potato. What a name. Good 50-50. Good try. Good position by my teammate. I can jump up for this in midfield. Hopefully shoot that towards target. Really well played by the defense so far. I like the pressure that my teammates are having on the ball here. Um, obviously, if any slip-ups happen, I will be last man in a weird spot. The guy missed. I tried to block his shot. Gotta clear, clear that around the one player. Hopefully, Takumi can go towards target. Maybe a double. And there's a shot. Nice pass off the backboard there. Make sure to drop a great pass there. So right there, because I, I touched the ball off the sidewall, the guy wasn't prepared for it. My teammate pinched it away, so I wanted to cover that position by being ready on the side of the field. Um, that's a good option. Uh, you know, it might not always work out. You gotta be, really weigh how close you are to the ball and stuff. Good 50-50. Good catch, too. And good pop. That's the last player. Takumi's playing really well. Nice little finish there. Good touch. Decent pop, but we end up getting possession. This Takumi guy is really good at holding the ball. Make sure to air roll at the last second. Close. I'll pop this back. Actually, this guy's going to be here. I'm going to back off. The second I see that, I end up already flipping back, using my half flip to get away. I'm going to stay with the ball here. Their last went, so it's going to be a little bit awkward. If I bump the guy on defense here, uh, it could be good for us. Pops across. That's fine. Straight the back corner. Wait for Scarly. Good pressure from uh, Vix to try and stay with the ball, but didn't get the greatest 50 50 for his team. I really like this Takumi guy. He's really good at holding uh, the play close to him. And it's really it's really allowing our team to move around the field pretty freely and get ready for his positioning. Like sometimes uh, it might be readable what you're doing, um, but it might be so good that it doesn't matter how readable it is. Super awkward ball there. Almost a good play from them. Perino's probably going to turn on that. I was ready for the shot on target just in case he did. My teammate covered the other option, which is really good. Good. Probably a throwaway. Once again, Scar Lowy threw the ball there. 
with that touch. I'm gonna go uh, top right for my teammate. And there's a shot. So in this situation, this happens a lot where someone will early challenge and it'll spill to a spot right here where my teammate can get it before them. And instead of just rotating all the way back, I do push up on the right side of the field uh, to get in a good position for a redirect and a breakaway. And those are the opportunities that, you know, you kind of have to trust your teammates a little bit. They might not always hit you or hit the ball in the right spot. But, you know, you got to take your opportunities where you can. And that's definitely a good option. You've got two teammates that are in net in a good defensive position. And even if it goes past your one teammate, you at least have another teammate to, to bail you out. We actually got 17 points and didn't promote. So I was actually wrong. So it was only 17 points this time around. We've been getting like 20, 25 to 30 most games, but this one was 17 for some reason. So we'll jump to the next one. This should be the promotion now if we win the next game. All right, for the second game, we got Gups, who's a season three grand champion. So he's a pretty, uh, pretty big veteran player there. Season three, you probably think, oh, this is season three. No, this was season three before free to play. We're actually like secretly on season 15 i believe oh, actually no we're on like 17 or 18 i don't even know anymore decent try hit it off the backboard maybe gups can finish it good try again pop to my teammate maybe he can pass it i like that we're keeping possession here i like this decision by just relax to try and stay with the ball Not the greatest touch for me i had no boost good pass back from the opponents because the teammates uh took the back corner i'm just gonna try and move up and grab some boost pads and right there i end up grabbing that boost because i i was moving along the field pretty quickly Go a little bit high on that ball because I know he's going to try and pinch it before I go to the ball. Pop it around. Good positioning from the opponents though. Big miss. But just relax. Go for the solo play and then Gups will probably clear this. Good try. A little dangerous for me to go for this. Hopefully my third gets back. Pretty slow to it. He's fine. He's got possession. Really good catch. See if he can throw it away. Hit it top left. There we go. Nice. So right there, I know that the second that my teammate goes up the wall, he's either going to stay with it or pop it away. And the second I see that pop away, I'm already ready for that option. And uh, I'm ready to redirect that in the top, the, the left side of the field. Um, I really could have shot that anywhere, but I think the left side was definitely the best option, obviously, because it went in. Um, I just felt like that was a good spot to put it. And that's just from the like, instincts of, you know, getting used to how people would defend situations. I was ready for that guy to challenge me from the side. I was a little bit uh, hesitant because I wasn't sure if he was going to challenge. Oh, he missed. Up around two could be open for my teammates. No one's there though. Um, probably didn't expect that uh, outplay, which is fine. We get pressure. I'm gonna fake this guy who's last. Oh, and I don't like that touch from my teammate. I was gonna stay with it on the uh, on the the side there. Probably they probably scared of me. They don't trust me. It's solo queue makes sense, but I do want to stay with that so I don't throw the ball away to you know someone on the other team. Good challenge. Just relax. Should be able to clear this over the last. Nice. I'm going to fake this and turn around and then drift. Good play from the Amelie challenge, though. I tried to go since I had some space and some time. I thought I would go for a solo play into a air dribble or an air dribble. And it was good of him to just immediately notice that I was using my time. If I actually just turned on that ball and immediately shot over him, he was probably too close. Um, and I'll t definitely take advantage of that in the future if I see him as last man again. Decent 50 50, but it will go to the opponents. So I'm gonna grab the mid boost and immediately move behind both my teammates. Gups should probably clear this left. Not the greatest touch. Karma goes up super early though. So now we got one player overcommitted. The Rooney's with the challenge. Probably not gonna be able to beat this. And my teammate went with me, so this is really, really bad. Never really wanna have it uh, a situation where you're trying to follow the ball up and your teammate also goes for a ball like that. Gotta be careful of the corner player here. Decent. Oh, it's fine. Pop it over the one. Randy Beans is waiting so I can go for a shot here. Not the greatest. I tried to go for the shot early in case he turned. Gups should beat Randy Beans here. Might not though. So I'm ready for it. Teammate should catch this on the other side. I like the, I like the dribbles. Good fake. I tried to get a 50-50 with that guy because he was like looking like he was going to maybe throw it back. So instead I just drive into the side of the ball. Good. Good boost steal. I'm not going to go for this. Randy Beans is probably going to clear this. Good try. I might get a 50-50 because of that too. Just relax a little bit slow to the ball, but he ends up beating him anyway. I think the opponent really should have been there a little bit earlier. Great try on the shot. Should be our third. Wasn't quite there though. So I was covering the option where... Um, I'm going to go over the one player here. I was covering the one option where uh, he was throwing it back to me. The other option um, was where my teammate probably should have been, which is you know in front of the ball where they drop it. My teammate. Oh, good try. Good 
pre-jump play. Oh, this can be open. Close. Oh, no. So that Gups guy has been a little bit uh, hesitant. Bad touch as well. Gups should be there. Good pass midf midfield. I like that. Nearly off target or nearly on target. Someone can hopefully turn on this. Pass it. It's decent. Good try. Okay, free clear back into the field here. Pop up the backboard. Good try. I'm not going to go for that corner boost because my teammate's probably going to land in there. Got shot of pressure. Good. Go for the backboard. Hopefully someone can turn. Good try, Gups. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I My life flashed before my eyes. I'm going to be honest with you. Nice. So one player goes in the corner. One player's uh, challenging me. So that's two players taken out of the game. I get a demo as well. Good pressure. If someone doesn't follow this up, we got some space. Oh my. Up over one. Trying to stay with it if I can. There we go. That's two. Try to up their last if I can. Oh, and big fakes. Let's go. Just relax. See, he's just relaxed, man. He's just chilling in his chair. He's just leaning back. Great play to to fake out the last player. Good of us to also take out two players with, the, with that that single play. I knew that that ball bouncing right there would throw a, an opponent off if I just swing around the ball and then pop it. And then in order to get the 50-50, I just let the ball drop down to the floor. And uh, what I did was I just got, got a 50-50 late on top of the ball. Make sure that whenever they challenge that we're ready. Uh, I'm just going to solo queue. I only got one last game. Um, I, always, I always find people who want to queue when we get that last game. So I'm just going to do the solo queue just to finish it off. Uh, but honestly, that guy was really, really solid. He played really well. And that was actually the game where we rank up to uh, GC2, I believe. That is the GC2 logo. Yeah, they're GC1. So that makes sense. Um, let's just say sorry, man. <clears throat> Who knows? We might actually run into the guy again because he's, uh, you know, it's it's pretty late. So there's not many players on. Never mind. We got uh, Perturbed Potato again, though. <laughs> and Will this time around. So we're finally in GC2. We're almost in 1600, which is incredible that we haven't lost the game yet. Um, at this level, it's, it's pretty intense. Like, people are pretty consistent. Good try. Dolo will probably have this first. Right here, I see that I got some space. Big fakes. Get a 50-50. One of our teammates should pop up. Good try. And this could be a shot from uh, Haps. There we go. Let Dolo get the ball. Or the boost. It's over two. We've got zero boost now. So what I'm going to do is just watch for the midfield pads. i got to be a little bit careful of... Uh, of a spill out from that that clear there, but it worked out. Right here, so be a little bit careful. Now I'm gonna 50 uh, 50 50 with him because my teammate's behind me, ready to cover. Hopefully, Potato can pass it. I don't mind that because he's gonna get a pinch. Wow, yeah, that could work out really well actually. Good demo. Two players are panicking. I was hoping that maybe they would collide midair. That's why I was just waiting for them to make a mistake and double commit. I'll get the demo on the one player too, so they're under pressure. See if Will wants to make a challenge. End up clearing it. I am uh, alone here, so I don't really want to throw the ball out um, because it could be bad for us um, if I don't get the proper clear. So instead, I just hold on to it. But at the same time, if you if you are consistent, you can uh, go for a, a shot like that, like a clear. Will's pretty pushed up here. could be dangerous. Oh, my. I'll go for a fake 50-50 here. Oh, my. <laughs> look, look at all these touches. Okay, I'm going to conserve my last boost. Hopefully, my teammate can push up. Nice play. I know I'm saying hopefully a lot because you just never know with like, these players. Pass across my teammate. He's a little, little bit far back though. I wasn't expecting that. 17 boost and a dream. Okay, that's going to be not our ball because he kind of threw it away. But okay, never mind. It is our ball. They're really slow. Play for Dolo's clear here. Try to get a double. This double will probably throw someone off. They both weren't ready for it. So Potato's going to have a free touch. Dolo with the clear to my teammate. Good touch. See if we can stay with it. He just needs to beat him here. Ooh. Good. Got some space now. Ooh, almost. Almost got the late flip there. I'm going to let my teammate clear this because it's to the corner. Smarter of him to clear that to the side. I just wasn't sure if he was ready for it. I'm going to clear this up the side, side of the field too because Potato's already at the field. Sort of speaking back to that whole breakaway situation where one player challenges and because of that, um, they're ready for it. This is a bit a bit of a tough read, but I'm, I'm going to turn my ball cam off um to read that play and like i said make some training packs where you can get used to those defensive uh situations good try i pinch this across see if i just get it over the target I'm gonna throw off sauce who ends up getting giving it to my teammates 
See if Will wants this. I'm going to wait in mid. Not the greatest first catch. Not the greatest touch either. This could be dangerous. Hop over the backboard. They're not quite ready. It's a little bit high. Good shot. And there's the finish from Will. So what I did there was I just tried to make sure I use my space. Right here, Sauce could have maybe challenged. So I was a little bit worried. But I just used the side flip to pop the ball nice and high. And it's really hard to react in time to get up to that ball. And no one was on the backboard. So I knew that was pretty free. Will had a free backboard touch after the miss. But here I'm going to go for the demo because I understand that there's two options. Either that guy goes for boost or he goes for the ball. Either way, I probably want to cover the ball. Um, because there's no one else on my team. Oh my goodness. There's no one else on my team that can cover that ball. So I want to be that player to cover the space. Keep my momentum going here. I'm waiting for the big booms over my teammate. Exactly what happens. Try to clear it over. It wasn't quite ready for it. But now Will needs to get a decent 50-50. I like that potato also cuts right here because that, pl that, that play spills into mid. Not a big fan of that touch from my teammate. Hopefully I can get back down to the ground before the shot comes on target. Good bump from the opponents though. I also don't mind that Will went for that. Got a little bit careful of the pass across. Good touch from Will again. 10 seconds to hold this, uh, this lead and we will win the last game. And so far, it's looking like our win streak might be uh, continuing. I might have just jinxed it. No, we're good. There we go. Nice. So really well played. Honestly, uh, every game so far has been getting sweatier and sweatier. We're now into 1600, uh, halfway halfway from GC into Super Sonic Legend. We're only two ranks away, which is honestly incredible. Um, for some reason, okay, there's something that's weird that happens to my controller where all the inputs happen at the same time. I don't know why, but we're Grand Champion 2 Division 2 ending off this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, definitely an interesting one. Uh, him or not him, that is the question. To beer or not to beer. <laughs> oh, he left. Oh, sad. No one got to see my message. Okay, anyway, have a good day, guys. Catch you guys in the next one.